Hey YouTube, Nunny here, Nunny's Nursery, and I am going full force with this one. I am doing a three-month open-eyed Joseph and a closed-eyed Joseph, um, three-month Joseph, uh, for a friend of mine, Kim, and she does not mind me doing a step-by-step -step tutorial to show how I am going to paint this baby. So I'm going to do a series to the best I can to show every step of the process of reborning a baby my way. So I don't know how much camera time I have because I've been recording a lot today, but um, I have me sponge here and I'm gonna wanna pluck the ends off there. I forgot to do that before I got started. Of course, why would I? So I'm gonna do that. I thought it would be good for my customers, um, everyone who is evolved, um, wanting to know about the reborn process. Here it is. I'm going to give it to you guys raw. We make mistakes. Um, it's it's going to happen. So, um, <laughs> sorry, but you won't believe what what, what goes on during these during this process. Now, I already pre-mixed um, a Flesh O2. It's pretty dark because um, I want to get a good base coat on this baby. I don't want to spend a lot of time painting because I have a lot of work ahead of me. These are very, very large kits. Um, it's a very, very big baby. This camera looks like it's super zoomed in right now for some reason. Okay. Very large. Whoa. It's this way. Okay. Alright. So, <clears throat> I'm going to dabble this on here. And since the baby is so big, I'm going to go ahead and just spread whatever's left on the brush. It's really not going to matter. It could be on the ears. I have some extra on there, so why not? Okay, let's start with the back. Dabble it on there. The baby's already had an alcohol wipe down after the Dawn dish soap bath to remove all the oils. A lot of artists wear gloves when they do this. I don't. I should. But I don't. I used to. I have to feel my work. I can't, I can't do it. Even when I did nails, I, <clears throat> I could never wear gloves. I had to wear, or I mean, I, I had to be able to feel with my hands what I was doing. So, same applies here. I don't know why, because I'm not actually touching this, but for some reason, gloves just get in my way. <clears throat> it's odd. <clears throat> I mixed a solution of, um, since this is the first layer, the base coat, I used um, two parts matte varnish and uh, one part um, Look Alive by Bonifal Baby. Um, a little bit of thinner, just a wee bit of thinner, because um, I don't know what the Look Alive is actually made of, but I heard it has thinner in it, so I didn't want to use too much, make it too watery. I wanted to, the paint to really stick, and I need a good matte base coat for that. I don't want it to be too matte varnish, uh, which is a rough feel. Um, it feels like sandpaper and it's yuck. That's not a good feel. That's not comfortable. 
when you're holding a reborn for it to feel like sandpaper. So, um, so I use the Look Alive with it, soften it up a little bit. During this process, realistically, I'm going to put another coat of this on another layer at some point. So it's going to have some stick to it. Doesn't stick very well if it doesn't, if it's real smooth. And this is the initial coat, so I'm going to be going over it quite a bit. It's so hard to get in these grooves back here. You don't want any buildup of the varnish. Um, you want to mix it real good. Make sure the, uh, <clears throat> that it, the matte varnish is nice and broken up in the mixture, or you will get white spots. Not a huge deal if you notice them and take care of them right away, but if you don't notice them, it can be a problem. It's not attractive. At all. So, okay. <clears throat> this is a <laughs> large head. Wow, this baby is just big. I love you, Kim. You God, you know I do because this is not my favorite kit to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. It comes out beautiful when it's done, but oh my goodness. These are so heavy. It's it's bad. It's painful to the hands if you have problems. Even if you don't, <laughs> it's painful because they're so heavy. I I don't remember how much the head weighs, but <clears throat> husband oh, I um <clears throat> I weighed it because the last one I did because it was so heavy. I had to know how much it weighed. I have a scale in my drawer. I think I am going to weigh it like in a minute here because I'm so curious. It's so heavy. Okay. So, <clears throat> scale here. Okay, let's see. Thirteen three fourth ounces. Wow. <laughs> That's, that's a heavy head. And that's before anything is in it. Yeah. Towel back here. <laughs> You don't want to keep blending down. You want to stay in the spot you're in and just spread it where it needs to go. Not anywhere farther. Just enough to blend it in nicely. 
so you can't see where he stopped before. Heavy, heavy baby. You're killing my hands there, Joe. Just like you're painting a wall, folks. You can do that with three-month Joseph. His head is large enough to paint a W on it. and cranny time. Right up the nose there, around the nose, mouth, underneath. Okay. My dog is in here sleeping, making all kinds of funny noises. <laughs> right in the corners here. Right around the nose. Inside that nose. Corners of the mouth. Okay.
<clears throat> so heavy. Blend that in real good. Inside of these creases down here, big chunky rolls. Down in those ears right there. I'm gonna make sure I'm hitting all the spots I need to hit. Make sure it's nice and even. I'm going to do it quickly because you want it to be poppy and porous. You don't want it to be real smooth and the faster the better. Okay. So, we have the head done. <laughs> Gonna let it dry. Put it in the oven and bake it. Get it all here. So many little folds and nooks and crannies that are so hard to get into. It's, hard, it's really easy to miss a spot. And then later on you're wondering why the paint isn't sticking and then you realize because you missed a little tiny bitty spot. Okay. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm not going to bore everybody with every single body part, but um, I am going to show the face, and if I run into anything unexpected uh, with the limbs, um, that might be insightful or interesting, I will pop the camera on, and um, I will record that. But it's pretty boring stuff. Um, that's pretty much the gist of it, um, that what I'm doing right now. I'm going to do on all the limbs and um, then start on the primary color method red blue yellow and in between uh, the, the layered sets of red blue and green or sorry yellow um, I will be doing um, a little bit of blushing here and there and um, getting to the color that we want this baby to be okay so, I hope that was at least somewhat interesting to a few people watching. I know it will be to Kim, because it's her baby, so there you go, Kim. We're getting started. I have two of these babies to make, so um, I'm only going to be showing the awake baby, um, but I, I have an asleep baby that I have to work on at the same time. So, there you go. Set of twins coming right up. All right. See you guys next video.